If I saw someone in a tanning bed, I would tell them that they need to stop immediately. Tanning was really popular when I was in high school, so I was a frequent tanner. Um, but right after prom, you know, I stopped, and then right after that is when I found the mole. I got up out of bed for work, and I couldn't put pressure on my right foot. I thought I sprained my ankle. I was shopping the night before. I was like, maybe I just stepped off the curb wrong. Um, so I went to work and, you know, I went about my day. By the time I came home, my foot was like three times the size it was supposed to be. My leg felt heavy, and that's the only way I really have to describe it. It felt like I was dragging it along. And then I started noticing that the, like, the skin on the front of my toes and, like, on my foot was getting hard. She happened to know my history and she was like, well, you had a lymph node removed, didn't you? And I was like, yeah, what does that mean? She's like, you probably have lymphedema, you should get it checked. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, I never heard of that. I was like, my cancer was six years ago, like, this is over, like, I shouldn't even be bothering with this anymore. And um, I called my oncologist and I came in to see him and in two seconds he was like, yep, that's it. He's like, and then he actually gave me the card for Dr. Ashinoff and Dr. Schneider. They were pioneering all this new surgery to fix lymphedema because it's become, you know, such an issue and that they were the best people to go to. My consultation with Dr. Ashinoff and Dr. Schneider was super thorough. They came in, they knew exactly what was wrong. They explained to me everything that they were going to do and how they were going to fix it and the most kind people, the most warm people and I mean that's kind of important. I, I would have not felt comfortable having somebody work so closely on my body if I didn't trust them as people and as surgeons. I didn't want to look deformed and I wanted to help myself now because the ability to help myself was now. So I decided there was basically no option except to get the surgery. They were like a great team. Both of them had their experience in certain, I mean, certain places and they put it together to basically f fix me. <laughs> it was three days before Christmas. I was walking around on Christmas with my family. Um, I was all wrapped up, but I was walking around and I was you know, having a good time. I, I literally felt like, I didn't even feel like I just came out of the hospital. I feel like a weight's off my shoulders that I'm gonna be able to go through the rest of my years without having to worry about what I look like, if my pants are gonna fit, if my shoe is gonna fit. It's crazy how different my leg feels now than it did back then. <laughs>